And good evening, this is Tenerdis the Human, and welcome to this guide to Rome Total Wars Alexander, where today we're going to try and fix the old problem that people complain about, which is Alexander dying, ending the game. Indeed, we're going to make it so that no longer is the case. We also have a little problem with the turn timer. People don't like that it's only 100 turns. Now, of course, I do appreciate this game was always designed to be a role play of Alexander's life, sweeping across the eastern known world, and destroying it in one lifetime and that's obviously what they're going for but it does make the game just a little bit linear and it kind of then lacks replayability so what i want to do here today is change around the game files quite easily done i should say to make sure that alexander dying isn't the end of everything now of course one of the great things about this is that you can start to role play a little bit more widely than just alexander himself no more will it all collapse into the Ptolemies and the Seleucids and Parthia and all of that nonsense. No, 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 no. We're going to have one big Macedonian Empire, damn it. But we don't want Alexander necessarily to be alive for it. I mean, at the end of the day, he died young in real life. He died in his early 30s. And that's because he was throwing himself out there. He never gave himself a break. We want him to be attacking the front line. Well, probably attacking the flank, to be honest. That would be more sensible. But you get what I mean. We need him to be gotten into battle. I find I find when you play a game like this, where you're not allowed for the, the hero character to die, you end up just not using them. So, what we're meant to do, we want to throw him into battle. We want it to be, you know, part of his legend. He needs to throw himself in. You need him to survive a few of these epic encounters and eventually die in a heroic last stand. But we want to pick up the pieces and continue the campaign from there. So that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to change this turn timer, make that a bit longer, and make sure Alexander himself can actually die, but the campaign live on. Once you've located your Rome Total War Alexander game files, you need to head inside the subfolder Alexander. From there, you head into Data, into World, Maps, Campaign, Alexander, and from here, we need this file here, Desca underscore Strat. Once inside the file, you'll see this looks fairly familiar if you've ever been inside Desca Strat in Rome Total War. Indeed, it looks weirdly familiar because actually we have Parthia, Gauls, Germans, Dacia and Scythia here. Indeed, this is a bit of a reskin of Rome Total War. So Parthia, obviously are the Persians, Gauls are Illyria, etc, etc. Anyway, we don't really need to worry about any of that right now. If we want to go and give ourselves more turns, we just need to change the end date here. At the moment, we're given 50 turns, basically Alexander's lifetime, of course. And let's just change that to 236 BC. At that point, we'll now have 200 turns. So let's save that up and let's just check that in the game. Here we are then back as Macedon. And of course, we now have 200 turns to work with, which would be great. But of course, we still have the problem of Alexander dying. And 200 turns is 100 years. At the age of 120, good chance Alexander won't be around. Historically, he didn't really last all that long. So we'll go back in the game files. We'll change it around so we get rid of Alexander dying being a problem. The other thing, of course, we want to change is this bit down here. Some people don't like it being a turn timer, as in it ticking down the number of turns. Some people prefer the year. So let's go and change that around as well. Let's head back into the files. Back inside Desca Strat then, and the first thing we need to do is just remove this line here. Show date as turns remaining. Very simple to do. Get rid of that. We'll just remove the extra spaces. Shouldn't matter too much. And at this point we can save this up. That will just change it back round to the year instead of a turn timer. Brilliant. Let's head back inside the files though, because there's one more thing we need to change to make sure Alexander dying isn't going to ruin everything. Back inside the Alexander subfolder then, and what we need to do now is move on from here down to the win conditions file. This is the one which causes the problem with Alexander. So let's head into here and we'll go and fix that up. Inside here we can see there are a few different win conditions for the various factions. Indeed, it's not really likely to happen because I'm pretty certain that the AI is programmed to not attack each other. Nonetheless, nonetheless, we have here Survivor Alexander. Now, you can actually just delete this file if you want, but unfortunately, if you just take out Survive Alexander, it isn't gonna work. I think the reason for that, though, is that Alexander is listed as one of the win conditions up here. So it's not just the towns, it's also him alive. So I'm just gonna remove that. We're gonna save that up. And now the new version of this file should work even if Alexander dies. Before we head back into the game, there is one final thing we need to change. 
Currently, we have no access to diplomats. In fact, none of the factions do. This is truly the most total war of all total war experiences. But to be honest, if we want to go and play as Alexander a slightly more sensible campaign, we probably want to have access to a diplomat in the game. So let's go and sort that out, shall we? To do that, we're going to need to be back inside the data folder and we're going to scroll down near to the bottom and open up this file here, export underscore desca underscore buildings. Once inside the file, it's fairly simple to add in the diplomat. In fact, we're at the right part of the file straight away. The governor's house, the governor's villa, all of that chain of buildings are right here at the top. And essentially, what we're seeing here is they can recruit peasants, but they can't recruit the agents. So to get a little example of that, we can head down to the markets. Now under the markets, you can recruit the agents spies. So we're gonna use those as a little basis to make sure we get our formatting right. So underneath this, it will be on the second level, normally diplomats, we're going to go and paste that in there. So we've got ourselves spy currently. Let's go change that around to diplomat. Marvellous. So this one is currently for the barbarians. As you can see, that will count all four of those factions. So we'll just overwrite spy with diplomat over here. So the Easterners will be the Persians and the Greeks, which includes Macedonia. So I'm just going to copy those because this is only for currently the governor's villa. We need to do this for each level of the building. So we're going to go down to governor's palace. We're going to repeat the process. And once we've done this for all the various building levels, we'll be able to save this up. And from there, we'll be able to load the game and actually have ourselves some diplomats for diplomacy. Here we are back inside the game. And now you can see we are on a yearly date over here in the corner no more timer of turns ticking down marvelous now to go and get alexander killed to go and test this theory we need to make sure that we have someone else in the family tree okay of course if we kill him then we will have no heir and the game will be over so we'll just get ourselves a nice candidate for adoption we'll immediately get attacked over here yeah parmenian's not going to do very well he's going to lose etc etc Writing in phrase, it's always a lovely start for Alexander, isn't it? And he's about to go and die. So, Alexander, take yourselves and some companions over to Byzantium, put that under siege, and we'll get ourselves murdered very, very soon. Let's hit in. Straight into battle with Alexander, then. We're just going to try and pile our way through the gates. Part of the reason I wanted a siege for this is just to make sure that we can get ourselves stuck. The other cav, of course, are just hovering at the edge of the map to make sure any routes doesn't end the battle. Uh, Alexander will probably keep on fighting. Come on, sir, pile your way into the city. There we go, he's actually routing them pretty effectively <laughs> as it happened. He'll lose eventually though. So uh, as he gets himself hacked down, he will get himself killed and hopefully they won't end the game. We will see about all of that. Hack, 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 stab, stab, stab. Come on back over here, sir. Get yourself killed on camera. Where are you? There we go, he's finally gonna go down beautiful beautiful leopard print um on top of the uh, old horse there glorious stuff these guys will of course withdraw and with that we should find that the game hopefully still works even without our good friend alexander there we are then ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves a dead alexander but a perfectly alive campaign here our win conditions are now sitting beautifully without Alexander's death getting in the way. I know a lot of people wanted this to be an option. So here you are, just a little fiddle around with the win condition files. And of course, a tiny bit to change on the dates in Desca Strap. Now you can play around to your heart's content. Obviously, the turn timer is still technically there, but you can make it as long as you like. Obviously, base game Rome Total War seems to pretty much go on forever. I've never got anywhere near the end of the time on that game, quite frankly pretty much already mopped up the map by that point anyway i will leave you for now with this uh, glorious victory at hand i will leave you to go and play this great campaign with brian blessed ringing in your ears with his dulcet dulcet tones i'm thomas this is to nurse the human it's been a little guide on how to fiddle round with the alexander campaign thank you and goodbye no not again how did you lose to the archers anyone who's already got children They've just been killed. Filthy pilchards, the lot of you. Oh, <laughs> Steve. You were the best of all the Steves. Rum, pa, 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 pa.